Good morning, my beautiful people. So I have been really procrastinating making this video because I feel like my point of view on this topic isn't like the most popular opinion. Um, somebody had asked me how I feel about like detransitioners and there's a lot of detransitioners that are out here making videos saying like that they were basically sold a false reality when they decided to transition. Personally, I think that the like rapid on-site gender dysphoria diagnosis is a huge reason as to why the percentage of detransitioners are up so fucking high. I watched a video and it said that you're not going to grow ovaries, you're not going to be able to have children, you're going to have life-changing experiences that are irreversible. And they were stating it as if it was like something that was undisclosed to them. And personally, I think that if you don't already know those things, you should not be transitioning. It should be your job, your parents' job, your count, your therapist, your doctors to inform you of all of these different things. And unfortunately, I feel like as a community, we're trying so hard to make transitioning acceptable, which is great. But I don't think that like doctors and things should cut corners just because we're trying to make it acceptable. Like I jumped through so many hoops to start my transition to get every single surgery that I wanted. And I think that those are necessary. If I wasn't the person that I was and I was able to transition in two and a half years and I wasn't completely sure that this is something that I wanted and I was just able to get all these surgeries, like, yeah, that would definitely be something that is like scary. like. If, if you are not 100% sure that this is something that you want, which not to say that transgender people are invalid, but a lot of people believe that they are trans and throughout the process figure out that they're not, that they are just non-binary or that they like to dress masculine or they like to dress feminine. It's okay. But personally, like, if you don't already know that, like, your sex drive may or may not be completely diminished. Or you are going to lose hair. Or you are going to grow an Adam's apple and your voice is going to get deeper. And that is irreversible. Like, testosterone does damage, like, your feminine organs in over a long period of time. So, if you don't already know those things, like... It's not anybody else's fault but yours. And that's my personal opinion. And to blame like everybody else on your mistake and make like other trans people invalidated because you had a bad experience transitioning is wrong. Like it just is. And like I said, the like I feel like we are as a community, we're trying to make it a normal thing to transition, which is great because we should be normalizing things that are already hard in general so that it's not as hard for us down the line, you know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that any time somebody has a slight feeling of gender dysphoria that we automatically put them on hormones and that we automatically throw them into top surgery or bottom surgery or all these different things that are life-changing and irreversible that's just my opinion <laughs> but I do think that like I did so much research and I I was out here telling doctors exactly what I needed because I did the research to know what what I needed and that's not right but if I had not done the research, I wouldn't have gotten the care that I needed. I wouldn't have gotten things done as fast as I needed them to. And nobody else was gonna tell me that because a lot of people don't know. This is, this transitioning is not something that is new, but information being widely talked about is new. Like people transition all the time, but they're not gonna tell you that like your blood gets thick and you may need to change 
your hormone replacement like amount or that you are gonna lose hair you know what I mean like people don't talk about it because a we get shamed for talking about it and b like some of this stuff is embarrassing and the minute that I open my mouth and I talk about something that is not super fucking great and positive about transitioning people find a way to invalidate my transition or flip it as like I'm destroying my body and I'm destroying my life so yes it is hard to talk about it is hard to get this information out there to people but there is information out there like people ask to see like my bottom surgery but there's so many like websites and things and there's google you could google what a transgender bottom surgery phalloplasty result looks like you know what I mean and you got to do the research and people always say like leave our kids out of it and it's like the community is not going after your children I think that people being accepting to children transitioning is a little off because like personally this is where this is where I probably have an unpopular opinion I do think that transitioning saves lives I do think that um, it should be widely accepted and it's a case-to-case -case basis like if you know your children and you know that like this is who they are and this is what they want to do like I'm not I'm not one to tell you how to parent but personally puberty was a huge turning point for me I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot of things that I liked and things that I didn't like and I don't know if I necessarily would have been mature enough to transition at that time and know what all the consequences are when I start taking testosterone when I start looking into top surgery and bottom surgery and things like that and I don't know I'm not one to tell you how to parent I'm not a parent so but I do think that it's funny that like a lot of turfs or people that are against the community tend to believe that the trans community is out here trying to like transition all these children when like in reality I think that it's hard for me to talk it's hard for me to speak on all transgender people and because I'm only a trans man I'm not a trans woman and trans women have a lot harder time after puberty transitioning and living a normal life Sorry, my phone ran, a store, ran out of storage. I really need to work on that. But I don't know. That's just something that I think personally. And if you don't already know those things about transitioning, like you should not be in the position to actively start your transition. And that's just my opinion. I did so much research before I even went and met with a doctor to try and get hormone replacement therapy. I went to therapy before they told me I needed to go to therapy to figure out what I needed to do to transition. Like, you have to be 100% positive because it is life-changing. And also, like, all of these other detransitioners that weren't fucking positive of what they wanted to do invalidates the trans community as a whole. And then they're actively making videos invalidating the trans community when at one point you thought that you were trans. So, like, it's not my fault that you were wrong. And I'm sorry if that, like, hurts people's feelings and you don't want to hear it and, and figure out how to say this. But, like, that's just my opinion. And everybody is entitled to their own, own opinion. And uh, I don't know. But I love you guys. And this is why I make these videos because I think that, like, y there isn't a honest amount of information about transitioning in the community and i'm here to make videos of whatever you guys want me to talk about and love it or hate it that's what it is <laughs> i love you guys i hope that uh i hope that you like this video i hope that you come back for more and uh, do what all the professionals tell you to do like comment subscribe and leave me some stuff in the comments so that i know what you're looking for and uh i guess your opinion on this topic because it is a controversial topic and opinion so i love you and i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>